Hey everyone, Harun here from Enterprise DNA um, and I want to bring you Challenge 12. First of all, a massive, massive thank you to everyone who participated in Challenge 11. Um, yeah, we, we had an awesome, awesome challenge. Some of the submissions were, ju were just out of this world um, and I highly, highly recommend if anyone missed that, um, just go back and, and review um, review the, the forum. Um, I know we've got some super, super events lined up with, with some of the expert team. Um, covering off uh, their challenge entry so definitely definitely wor worth catching up if you missed that one a um, couple of bits of admin to cover off so so we've taken on board um, some feedback uh, in and around the experts competing um, so so watch this space um, hopefully in the write-up uh, I'll clarify all of the categories um, we just think that the challenges are so much more than just about winning um, you know the, the whole idea behind these challenges is to, to give you guys experience um, of working with data and, and seeing how you create a Power BI solution end-to-end, -end, uh, problems you're likely to face in industry. Um, you know, we always try keeping the problems as relevant as possible um, based on scenarios that the experts or, or myself um, have had to tackle. Um, so with that, uh, I'll get stuck into challenge 12. Um, so this week, we've got quite quite an interesting data set, actually. So I'll, I'll set the scenario. Um, working with a company who is handling import and export of goods um, across the world, basically. Um, and what they've done here is um, they've literally gone to the source system and they've just taken an extract, which is exactly what they would normally do if they were trying to make some reporting. Now, as you can see, it is quite as flat as tables go. It's very flat, so, you, so you've got a lot of columns. Um, but the, the actual data set it isn't too big. You're, you're only talking a sample data set of about 239 rows. Um, and these guys would, would be your typical Excel users who, who would then maybe, you know, uh, either pivot this against any particular attribute or, or they'd then set up a number of templates based off this data. So the ask is, right, actually, could this be done in Power BI, um, saving the client time and therefore money and resource by actually automating um, the, the, the structures behind creating a report. So think the four pillars. Um, we at Enterprise are massive, massive believers in the four pillars to, to any good um, Power BI development. So the, you can see here I, I've got you've got your unique identifier which is your shipment id and then it is just your basic um you know what's the transport type is it sea air rail flight um and you've got loads of other attributes um and this is in by no means uh, an optimized shape for you for you guys to bring in to power bi um so i think that that lends itself nicely because i think you should all check out the absolutely awesome problem of the week from from Jarrett and Brian. Um, it was based on messy data and, and unstructured data. So I, I think this challenge just lends itself nicely to that. Um, so this is basically as is extracted from, from the source system. Um, I'm not saying you need to bring in all of these columns. Um, you know, uh, it, it's totally up to you. Um, that, that there isn't a necessary requirement to say, you know, we must have these. It, it's it's kind of a proof of concept stage. Here are all the columns that we can possibly get from our source system. What what potential do we have? Um, what reporting are we potentially missing? Um, so really, yeah, um, it, it's really an open play this time. That, that there's no strict requirement of a page or, or you know, I'm looking for something very specific. It really is just prove the concept to me that I could do something that would potentially take me hours, if not days in Excel um, into an automated fashion within Power BI. So what you do have accompanying this data set is a data dictionary. Um, and this doesn't cover every single column within, within the shipment profile page, but what it does cover is the columns of interest, the, the columns that if you were just going to pick a subset of these, these are the most important ones. So um, you, you've got 
some kind of comment next to it. Um, I've also put in a link to take you off to, to learn a little bit more about what these codes are. Um, we've also put in, in column A, some, some possible di dimensions. Um, so something for you to think about that this isn't a def definitive list and and by no means are, are we being prescriptive and saying you, you must have this um, it really is okay let, let's see how you do how you would interpret this flat flat file um, it really is just one big flat table um, something quite common um, when, when you are working with source systems is if you are doing an export it will literally be a flat file of everything um, so yeah um, yeah, you, you should be able to get quite a lot of information from this. Um, and as I said, th there's no right or wrong answers in terms of the report you create. Um, yeah, I, I kind of hand it over to you guys there. Um, as always, check check out the 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 write up that accompanies this for for all the details around the categories and the winners. But um, yeah, I, I hope you all have a good challenge uh, and best of luck. And see you on the other side, guys. Thank you very much. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.